The trade war is not stopping private equity's biggest players from looking to put capital to work in Asia of all places. This year, Carlyle raised a $6.6 .6 billion Asia dedicated fund. Blackstone raised more than $9 billion for buyouts and real estate in the region. Bain is reportedly targeting a $4 billion fund there as well. A record $62 billion flowed into Asia dedicated private funds last year. That's up 62%, guys, from 2016. But with the trade war looming in the background, the question among many investors and many in the media is why now? Well, for one, it's opportunistic. Some sources with knowledge of the fundraisers say the industry sees Asia as a maturing market. More and more family-owned businesses have grown to scale and are looking for willing buyers like private equity that can take them out. Additionally, the growth profile and valuations can provide greater potential for gains than similar assets here in the U.S. where we've seen valuations rise to record highs. I mean, of course, the challenge now remains with the trade war is that it could provide a regulatory and financial challenge to these deals, at least in the short term. But a lot of the sources I speak with say this is more of a long-term play anyway. So we'll hear from Blackstone's president, John Gray, and Carlisle's co-founder, David Rubenstein, at Delivering Alpha a week from today, where I'm sure this will be a key part of the conversation. That's going to be a fascinating conversation. Yep. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.